So turning to the human rights side of the question, I think it's fair to say that there's not just a broad consensus among human rights organizations about Israel's record in the occupied territories. In fact, there is a consensus full stop. Uh, I had occasion for a book which I'll return to at the end of my remarks. I had occasion the past uh, six or seven months of reading through all of the human rights reports on the Israel-Palestine conflict. And they are quite substantial because that area is very heavily monitored by human rights organizations. There is first the international organizations, Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International, each of which puts out a large number of publications on the Israel-Palestine conflict. Then there are the local affiliates of larger organizations. So you have Physicians for Human Rights Israel, Public Committee Against Torture in Israel, and so on and so forth. <laughs> and then you have the Israeli-based human rights organizations, notably Beth Selim, the Israeli Information Center for Human Rights in the Occupied Territories. So you have a, quite a large number of human rights organizations, each of which has its own research staff and field staff, and each of which is fiercely independent of the other. And it's a remarkable fact that even though one would think that there would be significant areas of disagreement for two reasons. Number one, because international law on human rights questions is still in an infant stage, and so many questions are, many areas of the law are still blurry. And secondly, it's what you would call the Rashomon phenomenon, namely, for those of you who are familiar with the Japanese film, the famous Japanese film, a half dozen people seeing the same incident and seeing it differently. And one would think that since most of the human rights reports are given over to documenting what happened at this incident, what happened at that incident, you would assume there would be large areas of disagreement. Who fired first? Who was armed? Who wasn't armed? In fact, I myself was very surprised to find that in going through literally thousands of pages of human rights reports, literally thousands of pages, I was only able to find one incident where two human rights organizations disagreed. Apart from that, they agreed on everything, on large issues and small issues, on issues of fact and issues of interpretation. They agreed on everything. To take a typical example, all the human rights reports agree that Israel has been systematically and methodically torturing and ill-treating Palestinian detainees since the beginning of the occupation, or routinely torturing them. And all the human rights reports agree that the number probably now reaches into, I'll use the Beth Selim uh, 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 statement, probably numbers into the tens of thousands of Palestinian detainees who have been tortured uh, by these, tortured or ill-treated by the Israeli uh, uh, the Israeli army and security apparatuses.